Great morning, great morning, great morning. I'm Amanda Sapp on the Amanda Sapp Morning Show here at Amazing 102.5 FM. You do get through a good station where we're changing lives one listen at a time. Great morning to you. Great morning. This event you got coming up where you're giving away uh, some kids' toys, supplies, grocery. Yes. Free vaccines. Yes. Gifts. We're going to be talking about all of that today. Yes, ma'am. And I'm excited to be sharing this with our listening audience today. But I do want to share a little bit about who you are. Is that okay? That's perfectly fine. All right, great. This person is a Navy veteran and Texas Southern University graduate, is an actress, model, certified life coach, and founder of Saving Families mm -hmm. Worldwide, a 501c3 dedicated to strengthening families through resources and support. Based in Houston, she is also a proud wife and mother. Her organization focuses on empowering families to build a resilient and un united foundation. She would consider herself passionate, family-oriented, and focused. Please welcome into our amazing studio, again, the founder and executive director of Saving Families Worldwide, Kim Landry Hagens. Great morning. Great morning. <laughs> Glad Thank to have you. you here. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Yes. How we know each other. We met, <laughs> year, I'm trying to figure out how long ago, because it's been a while, and I actually came on the show for the same event. Because oh. this is our 12th year. <laughs> Come on, 12 years. 12 years, yes, ma'am. Okay. Well, I know I wasn't here 12 years ago. Yeah, no, it, it hasn't been 12 mm. years, but I came here. I don't remember what year it was. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad you're back. Me too. And I'm glad you're still here. Yeah, you know, <laughs> Miss Pagans, don't get me started. <laughs> but I will say it's been a steady pace. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm proud to be here. Yes. And, and more importantly, because of stories like yours that we'll be sharing with our audience today, um, I want you to tell our audience a little bit about who you are. Okay. Uh, as you stated, I'm a Navy veteran, graduate of Texas Southern University, and proud mother of two sons, a loving husband, and a daughter, sister, all of that, and a friend. And it, it, there was a time in the community where, I don't know if people remember where a lot of black men were being killed they were by the police there was a lot going on back then and that's kind of where i came up with an idea i wanted to do something like it was something that needed to happen and a lot of during that time a lot of families were losing uh jobs we were going through like a depressive depressive state uh and it was just it was just bad for the communities and i felt like they needed resources and so that's how saving families came came about because i wanted to help and i really didn't know how to help so I thought this would be a, a vehicle to help families and people in the community with different resources. Your organization? Yes. Saving families worldwide? Yes. Were you personally affected in some way 12 years ago? I wasn't. Mm. I just wanted to do something about it. Mm. And I didn't know what to do. And I heard about 501c3s and kind of did a little research. And that's kind of how I came up with it. When you started this organization, what kind of challenges did you face or support did you encounter? Uh challenges is getting support finances that kind of stuff and that's still true today um, but because I've been around the community for a while a lot of people kind of know they they trust us they know that we're going to do right by the donations and what we do so it's it's still a challenge but sometimes it's a little easier because we have a track record of being a resource in the community how were you able to keep that track record what kind of um what did you show to prove that you're doing the work I'm out. We're out there. We're out there. We're not one of those people that just or one of those groups that just, hey, I need your money. I want you to see what we're doing. People come out. They volunteer. They go. They, we go feed the homeless. We do different events at the school. We have youth uh, summits. We have uh, women's conferences. So we've done a lot of different things. It's not just one thing. We try to affect. We try to touch the entire family because individually as the each person in the, in the family individually, if they're doing good, the family collective will be fine. And so we have to reach the individuals in order to make sure that the family structure is whole. You mentioned about men being killed by police. Mm -hmm. um, how does your program tap into that? Because we get them resources. We get, we work with different, we have worked with law enforcement in the past to try to get different resources to those individuals to kind of connect families to resources where their loved ones have been killed or something has happened. And we can kind of tap them into those resources within the community. Can you mention what some of those resources are? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't, I know, you know, John Marston. Yeah. Yeah. Can. We work with him closely when a lot of his, uh, a lot of his clientele have been, have been dealt, have, excuse me, have been personally affected by being killed by crime or and or, you know, people in the community police as well. 
the 12th annual Christmas in November free community drive through event mm -hmm. is happening on Saturday, November 9th from 11 a.m. to 2 at Mount Vernon Baptist Church in the parking lot at 3618 Stassen, S-T-A-S-S-E-N Street. Uh -huh. Uh, here in Houston, Texas, free tours, free groceries, free vaccines, free gifts. What's going to make your event any different from any other event that's happening in November outside of the fact that it's Christmas in November? Because we are, it's just, this is what we do. We're going to also have free vaccinations. So the Harris County, uh, Harris County is coming out to do free vaccines. So if your kids need immunizations, they can come out. It's no charge for that. And our event is a little different because it's going to be, again, this is something that we do. This We have a love for doing it. It's not just, we don't look at it as just an event. We want to give back. We want to make sure that the kids are happy for the holidays. Mm -hmm. We want to make sure that they have a smile on their face because a lot of times they don't get toys. And I know there are a lot of events in December. So we try to kick the holiday season off with our event in November. Do kids have to wait until December to open these presents? They do not. They're already unwrapped. <laughs> <laughs> they just come up. Kids must be present to get the toys, but they just come up and with drive up with their parents or whomever, and we'll give them to them. I see you've got Frost Bank, Mount mm -hmm. Vernon Baptist Church, Law Eagle, Cassandra Jones, Esk, Esquire. Esquire. What am I looking at here? Harris, <laughs> Harris County Public Health, BMB Publicity, Oak House, these are some of the sponsors that are part of this. Checkers mm -hmm. and quite a few others I can't really see, but it is on the bottom of this. Um, you are accepting donations as well. Yes. If people want to learn more, they can go to savingfamiliesworldwideinc.com. Correct. Share with me a story of someone who was um, glad to encounter Saving Families Worldwide. Oh, I can think of several, but give me one. One. <laughs> <laughs> one in particular, um, we had an event and a family of, it was like seven of them, a family of seven came and the father wasn't working. Uh, he had his wife and his kids with them. And we, this was during a time prior to COVID when we were actually having a sit down dinner. We used to have a sit down dinner where they would come in, we'd have uh, the toys and the bikes and stuff lined up. We would have entertainment. It was just like a big family dinner. Mm -hmm. So we had to change that after COVID to a drive through event. So th they came and we, he talked to one of our board members and kind of told him his story and then we gave them like a full turkey and some other stuff to take home that was cooked because we had kind of food left over. We had a little food left over. So we gave it all to them. And that gentleman is now a board member. Oh, that's great. Because he wanted, after, because of the way we touched him and his family, he wanted to be a part of the organization. So to me, that's an attribute to what we do in the community. Mm -hmm. I love that story. Thank you for sharing that with You're us. You're welcome. Now you've told, about, told us about the upcoming event, the fact that you guys do things all year round. Yes. Uh, and how this uh, organization got started about 12 years ago. Mm -hmm. And then what are some of your goals um, that you still need to accomplish with Saving Families Worldwide? I want us to be a worldwide organization. Um, as a veteran, I want us to have a veteran leg. Like I wanted it to be a major organization where we have employees and we're able to do more with major sponsors. So hopefully, and that's why I did worldwide because I want I don't want to limit it to just Houston or Texas. I want us to be a worldwide organization. Have you thought about getting your reserves involved? You said you're a Navy veteran. Mm -hmm. Yes. Are they supporting in any way? Have you have asked them or what how can they get involved with what you're doing? They can reach out and we are more than welcome <laughs> to get that conversation going. But I have not because I, I don't I'm we're still small. So I don't want to expand too big and then make commitments that we cannot keep. So I want to make sure whatever commitments that we're making, that we're able to keep them. You know, I can appreciate you saying that ahead of, you know, up front. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of times, you know, we do hear or see on social media, just get your 501c3. All you got to do is get an LLC. That's it. Mm -mm. And you're going to be a millionaire. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> and then nope. actually you do get it. And you and, and what you have is good. And people start investing in you. And you're right. Can't keep the load up. Mm -hmm. yep. Now you need to tell all these people. Yep. And now your name is shattered. You know, oh, you, it's man. like you can't, they can't trust you to do mm, what you're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. So that's very important to me. Uh, and that's why, you know, when my name is attached to something, I try to make sure that we do what we're supposed to do because that's very important. Mm -hmm. That's very important. Kim Landry Hagens, she's the founder and executive director of Saving Families Worldwide. She's got an event coming up on November the 9th from 11 a.m. to 2 at Mount Vernon Baptist Church in the parking lot at 3618 Stason street i hope i'm saying it right 
you know, I'm not a Houston native, so mm. sometimes <laughs> I get the word, you know, it's not it's that exactly. You got free toys, free groceries, free vaccines, free gifts while supplies last. Is there anything else that you want to share with us about you, this upcoming event, or anything you want people to know? Uh, just support us. We are here for the community. We appreciate all of our sponsors. We appreciate all of our volunteers. We have a great set of volunteers. They We have people that have been volunteering from the first year. They come back year after year, and it, it just grows. So we're excited. Uh, we're just grateful and thankful that we're able to be a blessing to the community. Love that. Love that. Well, thanks again so much for being my guest here today on the Amanda Sapp Morning Show. We do have to wrap this interview up. We like to leave fans, followers, listeners, and supporters with something inspiring, something empowering, something they can take with them the rest of the day, the rest of the weekend, all the way up to the weekend. Kim, Landry, Hagens, what do you want to leave us with today? Be blessed to be a blessing. And how do we find you? At SavingFamiliesWorldwideInc.com. I'm also on uh, Facebook, Kim Landry Hagens. And we're also on Facebook, Saving Families Worldwide. Guys, stay tapped in. Stay tuned in. When we come back, I got more with Reggie on the beat. We'll be right back. Thank you. <laughs> 